Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Wilson from Northern Kentucky's University's Office of Instructional Design with Mike Lively and this is actually the second portion of video number two. Uh, last time we went ahead and built the walls of our structure according to the, uh, the blueprints and today we're going to go ahead and do most of the interior stuff like tables, chairs, things like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up here and turn x-ray off. I just think it's easier to build that way sometimes. And we saw that there was a table that was supposed to be here. And for time purposes, I've gone ahead and imported this table already, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do that uh, so you know how to do it on your own. We can just go up here to the uh, Get Models, click, and then I just simply typed in Table. And then I think I selected this one. And then you'll go ahead and hit Download Model. And if you hit OK, it'll directly download the model into the, the project that you're working on now. If you hit No, you have the option to go ahead and save the model for later. So I'm going to get Hit Cancel because I've already downloaded the table. And when I did download it, it was a little, the size was not correct. I needed it to be elongated. So I used this tool over here. Sorry, you got to select the table first. Use that tool to go ahead and stretch it out to, to fit the size that I needed. As you can see, it looks a little distorted down here on the legs. They look a little thick. Um, you can avoid that by maybe stacking two or three tables together or you can go ahead and actually build your own table, which is easy to do. You just use basically the same tools that I've showed you how to use thus far. Okay, so I went ahead and downloaded some chairs as well. Um, you can do that the same way that I showed you how to download the table. And since we need more than just one or two chairs, you can go ahead and hit Command C and Command V for Mac, which is copy and paste, or Control V and control C for PC, which is again, copy and paste. And then we can go ahead and copy as many of these, you know, as we need to fit around the table. And let me copy one over here. And then it's facing the wrong way, so we can go ahead and get our rotation tool, which can be found up here or over here. <clears throat> click on top of the chair, click on the outside, and then simply just rotate it around until it's facing the correct direction. And then let's go ahead and move this chair over. And then we can go ahead and copy and paste a few more here. Oh, looks, look, looks like those are a little high. Let's zoom out here so we can see what we're doing. I apologize, my computer's running a bit haywire today. Okay. And since I'm running out of time, I'm not going to go ahead and do this to every chair. So I'll just go ahead and delete this one and delete this one. But you can go ahead, since this is in the wrong position, select it, grab this tool, and move it down to the correct position. Okay, you might have to spend a little more time doing that. There we go, and then we'll just go ahead and move this over really quick. Okay, and that's pretty much how you import models. Um, in the next video, I'll go ahead and show you how to texture and to add windows and doors to your model. Thank you.